Welcome to the historic city of Malacca and Malacca is a UNESCO heritage site just like Penang, Georgetown. Behind me is Christ Church, one of the oldest Protestant churches in Malaysia and over here is the Malacca River and that's where you have Jonka Street as well. Malacca is such a historical site that if you love this kind of a place that is so steep in history, rich in culture, then maybe Malacca is a place where you might want to consider to retire. If you're worried that Malacca is a little sleepy town, have no fear. Malacca is actually very popular with the other Malaysians in the other states as well as international tourists. There's always something going on in Malacca. Let me tell you a secret. The first time I was in Malacca, it was for a rave party. In fact, Malacca is known as the Venice of the East because check this out, there's a river cruise happening on the canals of Malacca. Hi everyone, I'm Fran, one half of the Copper Breakout Couple. My husband John and I, we broke out the Copper Red Race in year 2020 at the age of 40 years old. And now, what are we doing here in Malacca? Well, we are here to see whether Malacca is the ideal retirement place for you. If you've been following us for a while now, you know that we like to do cost of living and retirement videos all over Malaysia as well as other countries. So in today's video, what we'll do is we'll look at food, accommodation, transport, the cost of living in Malacca and we'll be all around Malacca showing you the sights. Before we go into the details, please like this video and subscribe to our channel to join our YouTube family. Malacca has a lot of Peranakan people living here and I'm standing in front of a Baba and Nonya Peranakan Museum. So this is actually three terrace houses into one and this was owned by the Chan family since 1861. If you like Peranakan cuisine, then Malacca is the perfect place for you to try all sorts of uh, Peranakan uh, dishes. I myself, I come from a Peranakan family on my grandmother's side my father's mom and I grew up eating Peranakan dishes. Now, Penang Peranakan and Malacca Peranakan is slightly different but still the similarities are almost the same and boy, I always love the kind of Malacca to eat Peranakan food. Here's our favourite Peranakan restaurant. Welcome to Nancy's Kitchen, John and my favourite Peranakan restaurant whenever we are in Malacca. And the reason why we love it is because, as you know, I am half Peranakan and the food here tastes just like what my grandma used to cook. One of our favourites is the Ayam Buah Keluar, which you can only find in Singapore and Malacca. You can't find this Buah Keluar in Penang. And then we've got Chicken Pong Te, which is really yummy, or you can choose the pork one as well. Then you've got rendang, you've got nonya curries. These soups are very authentically Peranakan and I love it here. It's very, very authentic. Our food's here and we over ordered as usual. Check this out. Okay, so we've got ayang pong te, very famous dish. And we've got um, nonya chap chai, sotong, this is a pork chinchalo, and we've got duck soup. Nancy's Kitchen also sells a whole array of snacks and tidbits which are Peranakan in nature. And the one that I love the most is their onde onde. It just bursts into your mouth. Onde onde in Malacca is very special because the filling is made from gula Melaka, which is obviously from Malacca. A fantastic and fulfilling meal, which is six course and two drinks, is Ringgit Malaysia 98.85. We stumbled upon this pet-friendly cafe which is a very quaint shop house nestled in a shop lot on a little street of Imalaka. Hey guys, look, we are in a pet-friendly cafe called Local House and it's so cool. This whole place is just old vibes and at the same time, it's so quirky. Check out the menu. It's made out of cardboard, right? And we can order the different drinks and desserts. It's really so interesting. Look at that. And this is the specials of the day and they're all on cardboard and ha Snuffy is so happy to be here check this out they even gave snacks for Snuffy oh so cute they are made out of like chicken and 
something else I forgot but it's healthy and for dogs. The specialty coffees which are really yummy like this one, it's called Sunrise. It's about 18 or 20 ringgit per drink and if you want to come here for a meal, each meal is about 20 to 25 ringgit. Malaysia's satay is so delicious. It is a street food made of marinated meat, grilled on bamboo skewers with a peanut sauce. Usually in Penang, we are used to eating chicken satay, lamb satay and beef satay more frequently. But look, you've got pork satay in Malacca and it's utterly delicious. Not only that, you've got pork intestines as well. And do you know what this is? This is ketupat which is uh, rice wrapped up. So good. This place is a Baba Nonya eatery specializing in pork satay and each stick is only RM120. As with other states in Malaysia, Malacca is no different when it comes to delicious food. You can find yummy food everywhere from solo shops, food trucks, restaurants and of course, lots and lots of variety in the food courts which are located in the malls. A local meal in an air-conditioned food court is around 8 to 10 ringgit per meal, excluding drinks. So if you convert that, that's around 2 US dollars. If you're an early riser, have no fear. There's plenty of local spots like this. This famous duck noodles that's very popular among the locals that opens as early as 7 a.m. Let's go check it out. These are two delicious bowls of duck noodles. Duck meat with intestine. This is medium size. It costs 950 ringgit. And this is 9 ringgit for small. Okay, I saw how the locals eat it. They will mix it up first before they start to eat. I saw one of them eating like this. Let's try it. Mm. The texture is very smooth and chewy. And the duck. Mm. Good. Malacca is home to satay chelop. Chelop means dip. It is unique to Malacca only and it's been around since the 1950s and the popularity has grown ever since. Now, what exactly do you dip? You actually dip different types of food that is on sticks. We're at a different satay place. This is Satay Chilop at Capital and this is very interesting. Check this out. So this is the entire container that you buy. It costs 90 ringgit actually for this. However, if you buy 50 ringgit worth of food items, then this becomes 20 ringgit. And this, what they do is they'll chuck this whole thing into the pot, right? And you put your ingredients into the pot and then you boil them. Bon appetit! Let's talk groceries. So behind me is the grocery section in Aeon where you can get all your creature comforts, groceries and household items. Now next door is also Lotus which you know the brand from Thailand and with Lotus always comes Home Pro. So you can get your electronics, your household equipment in Lotus or in Aeon. If you'd like to know the detailed cost of the grocery items or food items in the supermarkets, feel free to watch our Penang Cost of Living video part 1. After all, we are still in Malaysia, just a different state, right? So actually, the costs are all very comparable in all the different supermarkets in the whole of Malaysia, regardless of the state. How would I describe the traffic conditions in Malacca? Well, for one, it's definitely not as busy as other states or cities like Penang, and definitely not as busy as Kuala Lumpur, the capital. Usually, for tourists, the main areas that you will go to is the heart of town, like Jonker Street, like A Formosa, which is the historic site, and typically those areas will be very jammed, especially during the weekends. If you're living or retiring in Malacca, not to worry because Malacca is more than just Jonker Street, which is essentially a very narrow strip of road where tourists and a lot of human traffic is. What I'm saying is there's many areas that's non-touristy for you to get your shopping done and all your essentials that you need to buy for your daily convenience. Having said that, you can take very pleasant walks whether it's during the day or during the evening along the heart of Malacca, along the river to enjoy a very scenic walk. However, I wouldn't recommend you to drive. 
Good morning from the top of Malacca, otherwise known as Malacca in Malay. Well, it's a very misty morning, but from this vantage point from my condominium, you can see behind us is the Straits of Malacca, which is the entire stretch of sea, and there are condos or different developments that's built along. Nine years ago, 2014, when I came, there weren't that many condos. I could just see one or two, but now there are more and more, so it's a good thing for the property market. Let me orientate you a little. Behind me, this area, this residential area is called Klebang, and Klebang Beach is roughly over there. And this is a newly developed area that is still going on. So past the Klebang area, you can see there's land reclamation going on. That's a good sign, a great government initiative to bring in more business into the city of Malacca. And for properties, it's a very good sign as well. And further down the Straits of Malacca and also inland, this area is the Jonker Street area. And behind that, you can see some tall buildings. That's the Malacca Raya, where it's a very prime property area as well. Now, let me orientate you inland. As you can see past the tall condo buildings, beyond that is Batu Perimban, which is a residential area. And even further inland is where the Malacca Zoo is located at Aya Karo, where some residential areas are as well. And as I pan towards the left, roughly around there is where the airport is. Another residential area near there is called Krubong. What a gorgeous view from my vantage point right at the top of my condominium. As you can see, Malacca is breathtaking with a lot of low-lying properties interspersed with some tall ones facing the sea, which I believe the views are gorgeous. What a fantastic retirement venue Malacca is. All right, let's check out some properties in Malacca. Well, for the purpose of today's video, I'm not exactly going to deep dive. What I'm going to show you is a glimpse and for you to have a feel on the properties here in Malacca for both purchase and rental. The area for purchase I've highlighted is Batu Berendam, which is a very popular residential area and I've selected for landed properties, mostly one to two storey terrace houses within a price range of around 200 to 600,000 ringgit. So these are the properties for you to just have a feel for four bedroom bath, three bathrooms around 2,000, 1,008, 1,004 square feet. So different kind of choices for you in an area that's quite near to town. You are not short of options to buy landed properties in Malacca. As I shown you earlier, there's many low-lying landed properties for you to choose from. But of course, some of them are older and you probably need to redo them if you purchase. What about renting a condominium in the heart of town, which is at Malacca Raya area, very near to Jonker Street. I filtered for one up to three bedroom apartments that ranges between 1,005 ringgit to 4,000. Wow, that's three, around 300 over USD to 900. Check that out. And you have apartments of varying sizes like this three bedroom, two baths. You have three bedroom, two baths, three bedroom, three baths. You have two bedroom, two baths and more, you have one bedroom, one bath at 1,006 ringgit, 1,008 ringgit, and many, many more options like this one, which is high floor, and you have quartz residences, three bedroom, two baths, and very good locations for you to choose from. All in all, it looks like the property market here in Malacca is able to support your retirement needs with their really affordable housing costs. So what is there to do and see in Malacca? Well, for starters, you can enjoy the Malacca River Cruise. What is that? It's a 45-minute round-trip cruise covering 9 kilometers, and you'll see several architectural wonders of the city. Next, you can head to Jonker Street, also known as Jonker Walk, which is the main street of Chinatown in Malacca. It is so popular for the tourists because the shops are selling clothes, antiques, souvenirs, and there's also lots of food. You can also opt to take a stroll along the Malaccan River because there's lots of things to do and see. For example, interesting buildings and cultural landmarks. There are more than five mid-sized to large shopping malls in Malacca and we are standing in one of them. This is the Aeon Mall and it's pretty well stocked with all the familiar brands you can see in Malaysia. You know Malaysians' favourite pastime is going into the shopping malls, shopping, eating and just window shopping in general. So Malacca is no different as well. So as I said, there's five big malls but there are also little little malls all over the place where locals and tourists like to go to. There you have it, Malacca in a nutshell. Would you want to retire here? We find Malacca to be a cross of 
Ipoh and Penang, you know, historical like Penang, and then you've got Ipoh, a quaint little town. We find Malacca very suitable for somebody who wants to live away from the hustle and bustle of the city life like Kuala Lumpur but at the same time want to enjoy some creature comforts, shopping malls, historical sites, laid back and enjoy the hustle of some tourist activity especially during the weekends. Since Malacca is situated towards the south side of Malaysia, Johor Bahru is only a two and a half hours drive away and then after that will be Singapore. We hope that you've enjoyed this sweet little video of Malacca and come see it for yourself, you know, soak in the vibes. And let us know in the comments below if you would like to retire in Malacca. And as always, please like this video and subscribe to join our YouTube family. Bye-bye!